All right, let's have a quick look at words that are way sort 42. These are words that have um, TCH or CH in the endings from the within word patterns book. There's just a few words here compared to the previous week. So first, a sketch is a quick drawing. For example, you have a sketch book for art class. Screech is a high, unpleasant sound. The most common use of this is a car is driving and has to slam on the brakes, the tires, and make a screeching sound. And roach is just a short form of the insect cockroach. Okay, a torch is a flaming light. Um, most commonly is the Olympic torch, which they carry to the Olympics to light the bigger torch. Um, just beware though, in uh, England or other maybe English speaking countries outside of America, um, a flashlight is often just called a torch. So it's not on fire, of course, but a flashlight could also be a torch. Pitch has a lot of different meanings, but we'll keep it simple. Um, we'll call it to throw something and fetch is to go and get something. Uh, most commonly, like a dog would go fetch a stick if you threw it. Or let's say there was an injury in PE class, someone might need to fetch an ice pack for the injured person or something like that. All right, the next couple of words, gulch and hutch, are not very common words. So don't worry if you don't remember these or if you've never heard of them. Um, I'm an adult. I read every day. I wasn't even sure exactly what these words meant. But a gulch is a deep ravine or valley. A ravine is like a very small form of a valley um, that fills with water when it rains. This means with, by the way. Um, but maybe a picture would better illustrate this. So you can see it's deep and steep. And there might not be water here all the time, but when it rains, the gulch fills up with water. But again, many adults wouldn't be able to know the difference between a gulch or a ravine or a gully or all of those things in nature. But this is what it would look like. A hutch is another rare word, but it is um, a pen for rabbits or other small animals. So this is an example of what a hutch would look like. Just a pen where you would keep small animals inside. And a couple last things here. A porch is a place for sitting outside the house. Um, and usually there's like a little roof over here. And you don't just have to sit there. You could put your laundry out there or whatever. But it's just a place um, for sitting outside of your house. And the last thing, uh, the only word you hear have of these two is this witch. But it is a homophone, so just be careful. And the witch with... Uh, H-I-C-H is a question of choice, like which snack do you want to eat today? And this witch here is like this evil woman people dress like for Halloween. So don't get those confused. I see it happen when students are doing writing. So that's it for this week. And if you'd like some other videos of Words Their Way, um, word sorts, definitions, I'll put some stuff here for you. But that is all for this week, so thank you.